The Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California explores the history of computing and how it affects the world. Take a trip here and you'll see exhibits dedicated to modern technology as well as those dedicated to hardware and software that was crucial in the past. Items in the museum's Revolution exhibit represent the first 2,000 years of computing. In the first gallery you see mechanical aids to calculation. If you think of a computer as something that processes information, the term's pretty broad. That's why you'll see video game systems on display, as well as things like the speak and spell educational toy, smartphones, and even the oddball behemoth bicycle, which has a built-in computer, keyboard, and CD player. Some of these things are gone for good, so why are they important? So really the question is, what's the importance of history? And history is important for us to understand to get a grasp on the present. Um, what we're showing you here, yes, are some objects and some stories, but really what we're showing you is how computing has changed our culture forever. There's really nothing around you that has not been affected by computing. This isn't just the smartphone we carry in our pocket, it's the very pocket you carry which has been designed using a computer, has been manufactured on uh, equipment uh, that's driven by computers, has been shipped to you using logistics run on computers, and even this interview is being recorded using computing technology. The museum offers several history lessons. Pieces of the eight-ton Univac computer, for example, represent a time when the machine predicted Eisenhower's presidential victory on TV in the 1950s, surprising journalists who thought his opponent would win instead. We have programmers to thank for the exciting aspects of computing, like industrial robots and artificial intelligence, and the more mundane, like common software. These men and women create so many things that it can seem hard to predict where computing's going, even for the experts. When you look at the history of technology, the, the two big things you always look at are continuity and change. There's some things that change and some things that don't change. Uh, it's amazing how some very basic technologies have stuck with us for, in some cases, centuries. And you would think somebody ought to come up with a better way of doing it, but sometimes things just work and there's really no reason for them to change. Certain other things change because there's maybe market pressure or maybe somebody comes up with a better mouse trap and there really is no need for it. So it's really hard to predict. For more technology news, read Government Technology Magazine and visit govtech.com.